Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Treasure of Rudra. I'm Zero Fall, and um, there's a little bit different here. I went through the mantras, I organized them a little better. Um, healing magic first. Then here we have fire. I added lightning in a little bit um, because of an upcoming boss. And these are the spells we kind of learned as we were going along and tried things out. And uh, Espiri is one of the ones that we found in a box and it was missing a letter and I went through and found the letters. I did try making some spells out of people's names, but um, pretty much every single one was just a high magic use, void damage that did very little damage. So as fun as it would be, it's not really very effective. What was that strange boulder just now? I'm traveling for business purposes. Would you care to look at my wares? Um, we can't really afford anything worthwhile from this guy. But what we can do is, again, um, because of an upcoming boss, we are going to change you out for the Stormblade. That could have been Badra. Then Manju's seal has truly been broken. Do you intend to fight it? That's the plan. Then listen to what I have to tell you, brave one. It was with the mantra Warali that Manju stealed, sealed the beast. Do you wish to learn it? Of course. Throw this on the end of our uh, list here. The mantra Warali shall aid you in your offense, knowing it has done wonders for my own courage. And what that spell does is it causes a small amount of wind damage and the float status. If there's truly a monster out there, run for your lives, Gloop! Why are we moving? What? A monster? Then what are we still doing here? Flee! Flee while you can! And the last guy here. Would you like me to tend to your wounds? Please do! Then listen to the sound of my voice. Om. And yet, Om isn't a mantra we can teach ourselves. Anyhow, we're all uh, ready to go find out what's up with this rock guy. Badger came to a halt somewhere over there. I'll wait here with the train. Watch yourselves. So we head over and... Hmm? Oh my. There it is. Let's send that glorified hunk of rock back to where it belongs. So here we are, fighting the Great Badra. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I actually moved our guys to the back row, um, because this guy does a lot of physical damage. Now, we do have... War Alley, which will cast Float on one person. Um... We might as well cast that. I don't know how many turns it lasts for. We might as well cast that on everybody to start. Because this guy looks like he might cause some earthquakes. So we did damage all our guys a little bit. Oh, and if they get hit, they stop floating? That's the lamest thing. Oh well, we're not going to be using much of that. Um, you have enough for one big cure. And you are going to start using our strongest bolt spell. Oh, so that didn't stop him floating. That's weird. All right, we might make uh, we might make him float again just to keep him safe when the when the bad stuff starts. Uh, he's already out of stuff. Can I change his? No, he's going to be uh, mainly using items, I suppose. While the other two use their mantras against him. And actually, we're going to have you start floating again. It is too bad that takes it away, though. But with... Uh... Oh, yeah, he does, like, no damage. He's only going to be using items. Um... Keep her topped up. And until he takes more damage, we're not going to bother trying to cast float on people anymore, because 
Uh, the way it works is when he gets low on hit points, he starts using his... Uh, he starts using his uh, Earthquake attack. So, it's just a matter of... Same with most of the bosses in these games, is just staying alive and... Oh, see, he's actually already starting to... Holy crap, it killed her! Hmm. Alright, he's angry now too, so... Um, we have alarms we can use on her, so you're gonna lose an alarm, you're gonna use heal everybody. Aw, brought back to life by the love of anime. Probably save. We might as well just use a medical herb on her. You're gonna make yourself float. And you are gonna make a Scion float. That doesn't do too much damage. Alright, might as well have you attack. Um, you're gonna cure everyone, and you are going to cast more bolt fire powers. I really wish he didn't go first. It would give us a chance to make sure we had float on people when they needed it. Oh, I guess it didn't do very much damage to him. We're out of red bags. It's funny how items stay in your inventory after you found them once. I don't know what Spirits does. We may have been better off just using attack magic instead of trying to keep people uh, floating, but it may turn out worth it. Let's just all attack this time. Yes. Total miss. See, it worked out in the end. So these are all gonna just be the same thing. Hopefully he keeps using that bound. And you know what? Uh, oh, never mind. I was gonna say Scion can can stay like that till the end of the fight, but we managed to win, so it wasn't too bad. Scion gains a level, Tyr gains a level, but not uh, Foxy. And we could go out of the cave, but let's go back and talk to people. I thought the beast was defeated. Why are we still waiting here? Um, that kind of gets explained, actually. He's still just traveling for business purposes. Should have remembered that. Monju is the element of thunder. Do you know which element is most effective against it? Which is wind. Correct, your knowledge of mantras is sterling, indeed. Yes, what you need is a wind mantra, like Teotome. Do you wish to learn it? This is important because tome, or tomb as some people may say it, um, is a, uh, let me write this down, more powerful version of Lus. So we can now go into our mantras, inscribe, everywhere we have Lus, we can write down home instead. Oh, I guess we have to actually... Tome. More powerful. I don't think it would actually fit in this. Oh, yes it would. Nice. It would be super powerful healing magic. Where is Tome? I'd imagine this would have probably been easier in the Japanese version of the game because uh, with Japanese characters it would be syllables. So 
So you guys get to sit here and watch me throw Tome on the end of a bunch of spells. But come on, that's fun, isn't it? Tome. Hey, start does it faster, okay. Uh, and do you know what? We're going to throw you on the front of this. Boom. What was it before it had you on it? Yeah, see? That made it more powerful. Okay. So, you. We go down here. Talk to this little guy. Thanks a lot. We'll be able to get the train out of here now. The train didn't take any damage in that scuffle? Not a chance. Down in engineering's built to last. Good to know. Listen. We need to get to the Garel clock tower from here. Can you help us? Sure. Just exit the Garel tunnel and head directly north. Could you wait for us? Of course. Now he moves up, but I'm curious if we can just walk out this way. And uh, we can at least save our game outside here. There we go, leveled up. And uh, no, we can get out, but we can't actually go anywhere. One of those just let you know where you are things. We'll have to talk to this guy again. And away we go. So I've not been through this part. I did try that. Oh, treasure. Garel armor. Hmm. It keeps you strong as fire. And his speed went up, which is a very good thing. Now what does Foxy have? Nothing we can change. Ooh, new bad guys. Garel cats. Let's just attack them to get a feel for them. Umbrella sword. What a sneaky cat. Hey, Remurb. Let's uh, keep looking for more stuff. Oh look, new uh, new types of enemies. They seem to be uh, little plants. Oh, aquanates. Let's uh, let's write that down right over here. Aquanates. I wonder if. Oh shoot! Someone's dead. All right, let's um. Bring him back. What is it? Yeah, unless... Oh, she doesn't have enough. I thought we talked to that. Oh, we forgot to talk to Old Man and get our hit points back and stuff. Okay, so we're gonna have to. Uh... How is that less effective than that? Hmm. Interesting. Anyways. Um, we'll have you bring him back to life, I guess. Oh, do you know what we have to do? How do I get over there? There is a way... Oh, there you are. That's how you switch that. Here we go. We're gonna put them in this order. That way, we can have him. We can have her. Cast teal on everybody. We can have him bring Sion back to life. Alright, as long as I keep root whipping, we'll be fine. So, you can, even though the battles are kind of dictated by their speed, you can decide to make someone wait, which is really helpful for something like that. Um, let's have you attack. You're out of magic. You attack. Oh, do you know what we actually have to do is, yeah, change these guys up. Um, 
we're gonna have you try this wind. Oh no. Use fire on their plants. That is quite a bit of damage. There we go, that's that's much better. Oh, and that did tons of damage. Wow, that tome spell is really powerful. Foxy leveled up, we got some more goo. And we're gonna head back to that uh, fake in man that can almost back to good health. These guys aren't so bad. But wow, we did take a, quite a beating from those little plants. They're easy to defeat, but... Um, they're also high damaging. So let's get healed up. We'll call this a video. And next time, uh, we'll venture into the tunnel and hopefully make it to the clock tower. I'm Zerfall. Thanks for watching.